to tell our Hyacinth. Oh, God, not tonight. Tomorrow morning. I couldn't face Hyacinth. Not tonight. Now, ladies. <laughs> Only round here, lady. Have you nothing for this address? Sorry. I'd be greatly obliged if you'd make quite sure. <laughs> There's usually something for a Mrs. Richard Bouquet. How do you spell Bouquet? B U C K E T. <laughs> B U C K E T. Oh, bucket. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sorry, lady. There's nothing here for a bouquet. <laughs> nothing for this address. And yet you have something for next door. I find that very strange. You can't help that, lady. But people will tell you. It's common knowledge I receive more mail than these next door. <laughs> there must be a card from my sister in Tenerife. She's back home, of course, but we're still waiting for the card. <laughs> Anything wrong, Hyacinth? He's mislaid my letters at the sorting office. This would never have happened with my former postman. <laughs> you will remember, Elizabeth, that you're invited this evening to my candlelight supper. It's engraved on my mind, Hyacinth. <laughs> Telephone, dear. You want it on the phone. I think it's urgent. I'm not offering an opinion. That's what she said. Please don't shout in that excitable manner outdoors, Richard. I don't like you getting excited outdoors. <laughs> Morning, Major! By God, woman! You can drive a man mad looking so attractive so early in the day. <laughs> Light supper this evening. 1930 hours. I'll be there, you minx. You can always tell breeding. <laughs> <laughs> the phone, Hyacinth. I think it's urgent. Mm -hmm. It's about your father. <laughs> Oh, my God.